Another milestone for SpaceX, a ship with a big net brought back a Falcon Heavy rocket's nose cone to shore today, saving SpaceX a lot of money. New 6's James Barbero takes a look at how this success is helping in the future of space. The successful sound of 10,000 horsepower sailing into Port Canaveral with its first catch. SpaceX now calls the 205-footer Go Miss Tree, and today she's carrying a rocket nose cone, the Falcon Heavy fairing under the blue tarp. An excited Elon Musk Tuesday morning announcing his company's latest milestone. Ms. Tree successfully with a payload fairing half. In five such attempts during previous missions, the ship, formerly named Mr. Steven, did not have the same success. For two years in two oceans, the ship experimented with saving SpaceX $6 million per fairing if they could be recovered. That's cool. That is cool. Today's return to port, also exciting news for crowds watching from across the channel. We were looking at it, and my husband told me what it was. I didn't realize it. He said it used to be called Mr. Henry. Or... <laughs> Mr. Stevens. Yeah, Mr. Steven. Yeah. Now it's called Miss Tree. Yeah, I know. <laughs> These other SpaceX fans came all the way from the Czech Republic. It was fantastic. Falcon Heavy Tuesday morning was Miroslav's first rocket launch. Wow. The sonic booms, his favorite part. Miroslav says he also wanted to see Miss Tree and the nose cone. We feel that SpaceX is leading this trend as to be most innovative uh, company in this, in this field. And this afternoon we expect SpaceX to move the nose cone off of the ship whenever the crews are ready. At Port Canaveral, I'm James Sparvero getting results new six.